Welcome to the Lilypad Podcast. My name is April, your host, and my girl Andy is sitting right across from me. Yep. I have to be honest about something. I was getting into that song that I forgot to turn the microphones on, so that's why it went on for almost 30 seconds. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, that was a long beginning. Usually I try to start, you know... Fading it out at like 20 seconds. Yeah. And then, was you a, know. You were dancing. I thought you were going to have like a <laughs> dance party over there in a minute. Oh, I, I was really having a dance that party. One. I did. So I'm like, almost forgot that? To, forgot to play podcast. I just kept, I don't know. Um, I'd have to look. Oh, wait. You know what? Hold on. Let's see. Oops. Lola R mm-hmm. is the artist. I got them. Three, yeah, Lola, L-O-L-A, and then the word R, A-R-E. I got it on Epidemic Music because Spreaker partners with them. So you oh, yeah, pay, yeah, you free, pay the right? yearly. Or something well, like that. No, you pay a yearly fee and you to get use to the use music. Oh, yeah, all right. Which is nice. But you get good stuff off there. I like the music. Yeah, I've liked it. Yeah. I might do a, a techno night coming up soon. <gasps> is it going to be for the 100th? Oh, dude. <sighs> I'm so mad about the 100th. Why? Because I still haven't figured it out. Well, you've had all this time. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, um, I know yeah. what you're doing. We can't tell anyone. We're not going to get into it, though. Big secret. It's a big, quiet secret. Yeah, It's a big secret. I got almost all of them done. So she's doing One her nails. To go. She brought over chocolate chip cookies. She just took the Cheetos. <laughs> Don't be doing the ASMR without me. I'm the one who started this. Give me one. So those of you out there who hate ASMR, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she takes her time too she's good <laughs> my mouth is open she's gonna sell all these later <laughs> on to somewhere else <laughs> this is what my life is now <laughs> i can't even do it this is what happens when April and Sarah haven't seen each other in like a week. <laughs> Sarah's job sucks. <laughs> I don't have a job. I'm a loser. <laughs> I'd like to be a loser with you, can I? Sure. Please take me away. <laughs> We're in the car this morning. I think this should be the whole episode. I should just go get a, a crap load of food from upstairs. And we just chew. And just not say anything, and this whole episode will be us eating stuff. But it's, but you could break up the clips, and then you could sell them individually. <laughs> yeah. That could be worth something. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> you don't think anybody wants your Cheeto sound effect? I'm sure they'd be lining up for it. I just there's got to be a website somewhere where you can buy one of those. Someone doing it. My Cheeto clips. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah and I are going to be hitting the road to do some, you know, generic commercials. We won't see where we're going. <gasps> Maybe No, I don't think that would make a good 100th episode. We'd have to go to, like, multiple places and videotape the whole thing, which technically wouldn't be a bad idea. True. You know, we can pick a couple of restaurants, and if any of you guys I still feel there, like the 100th episode should be about the, the triangles of food around here. Yeah, we could do that, the food one. But I think that would just make a regular, normal, great series. It would be. You know, multiple it's up, episodes. It's about the great city. I have to have a cookie. It's about the great city, though. Sorry. I've had like 12 of these. That's okay. <laughs> She's doing the cookie. That's the crunchy one, because I left those in too long. So good. Can you tell? Mm-hmm. Not the soft one. She already ate that. I ate all of them. <laughs> yeah, I'm not stupid. I show up at people's houses with things. She's smart. You're wicked smart. I am. I'm wicked smart. Wicked pissa. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Mingya. <laughs> Mingya was hot out today. Mingya, it was humid. Oh, shit. It sucked. I saw a funny meme. I think it was a TikTok thingy. And it said something about they hate it when people say, oh, I forgot what it was. They hate people that say, 
when it's hot out, it's, it's hum- something about hot and humid. And then they said, I don't Moist. care. I love that word. Is that word brought up? Because no, guess- something different. But moist is a word people either love or absolutely despise. Oh, yeah. It, like either gives you shivers or you're okay with it. I get it. Nope. There she goes. She's still doing it, folks. She can't stop. I can't. She wants to be discovered. If Jeff... <laughs> what? <laughs> you want to be discovered. I want to be famous. I be famous with you. In a good way. Cheeto noises. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> and I can tell you right now, that sounded really loud. Mm-hmm. It was a teeny tiny Cheeto. Like this one here is a Cheeto ball. Ready? It was the same noise. Really? You think so? Yes, absolutely. Just longer. All right. So, literally done. That's the last one. Six minutes worth of chewing on, on the microphone. Mm-hmm. I am sure everybody's thrilled to the core about this uh, first segment. Right first there. Yeah. But we haven't, we haven't hung out in a bit. I don't know what you're talking about. All ten of our listeners are always ecstatic about the things that we do. It's true. I'd like to know if I can ever get into... The second set of ten. <laughs> we might have to change tactics slightly. Um, I don't know if laughing hysterically for you know an hour in eating food and eating food is really. Gonna we should get actually talk. Ten we should actually talk about something. Let's talk about body image. Just kidding. You were gonna do one. Of I those. have an image. It's round. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's not what I meant. I'm talking about what they do to little girls, and then when we grow up. We have the same attitude and problem. Yeah. Body image shit. Nah, I don't think I want to talk about that. It's sad and depressing. I guess, yeah, in a way, yes. There's a lot. And there's too much sad and depressing going on right now. Yeah. In the world, too. So, so um, I paid a lot of money for gas today. That's oh, all I'm going to really say. No, no, no. Let's talk about the movie we saw last oh week. Oh, my God. It was so good. The Ten Rings. Oh, I loved that. That was great. It was different than other Marvel crap. Thank mm-hmm. God. Because every once in a while, you're kind of like, okay. I could I could do a break, yeah, on your usual stick that you pull, yeah. There and was it was some... pretty good. There was one moment that I thought was like, I mean, not that it was plausible, because it wasn't plausible <clears throat> at all. But there no. was one moment where it was really cheesy, and I was like, "Whoa, come on, not that, don't do that." That, do was, like... that was your marvel. That what just was came the up. cheesy part? I can't remember what it was, but I remember thinking, oh, "Really, that's what you're going to do right now after all this greatness you did?" You guys should <laughs> see how chose. upset she looks. She's like, "I was very upset about it." I can't remember red. what it was though. My face is red anyway. I was kidding, actually. You know that. Always, it's, your face is not always red. Yeah, well, most of the time. Really, I don't yeah. think so. I'm always trying to make it less red. <laughs> Stop being so angry. I'm not angry. I'm I know. Happy. I'm happy you when I'm not at work. Happy. I'm happy and, when I'm not at work. And when you're not at home. That too. Or when you're home alone. That's, yes, I had to leave <laughs> again tonight. I'm like, I have to go do something. I cannot sit here. I know when I saw your text today, you were like, you're going to be around later? I'm like, yep, because <laughs> I don't do anything. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Oh, wait, are we allowed? Oh, yeah, we can swear. Yeah, yeah. I so, ask that every time. So let's think, that? About, let's think about something else. Okay. Um, what are we going to think about? Or talk about something else. We're um, not going to talk about Bazooka Joe and how awesome he is. I have a million fortunes. I tell you my fortune here. This one says... Do you keep them all? I do. Oh, I love that you do that. I have a whole bag of them back there. Between these and the Chinese, um, the fortune cookies. Oh, I love those. Um, but I only save mine. Okay, yeah, you you shouldn't save other people. Yeah, because that's their, you know, those are yours. Um, what was I going to say? So, uh, yes, so the one hundredth episode, though, let's go back to that. Honestly, All right, yeah, I don't remember what number we're at, but we are we're close. close. I was kind of trying. I if we didn't cancel the tattoos, which mm, that would have been it. That would have I would have asked him if I could have videotaped some of that. Um, but. Would a hundred episode episode being videotape be a podcast? Yeah, it's How? just a video and the audio. I can extract the audio. Oh, from the all right, video I get it. My now. little software. I'm, I'm saying, like, if you wanted to do, and then I could just a video. I could do the video for my YouTube channel. I'm going on. I'm still having my other one done. Yeah, when is that? I paid half of it, so I have to. Um, you put a lot of work into your the nails. Twenty you first. Oh, nice. Very good. Yeah, so That's next week, dude. I know it's Tuesday. Yeah, it, yeah, 
you should come with me. I might have to. Oh, someone's texting me. Is it who I want? To I talk? asked Chuck to come, but you know he always never has time. When in the middle of the day, he says he'll have time, but he is not gonna have time. Well, I have like four. Oh, whoops! I just saw your. What? Oh, um, I don't think I'm busy on Friday, other than going to a wake really quick. Oh, we died. Um, my cousin's grandmother on her oh. on her mom's side. Oh, that's too bad. She was a sweet lady too. You remember her? Oh yeah. That's too bad. Um, How old was yeah, you? Friday works good. That's the only, now that I'm getting your text three hours later. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? <laughs> I am um, perfect. See, I okay, cool. This stuff's gonna stay. I've never used these before. Oh, that's different. Yeah, I was gonna say it doesn't look. They like, don't look. Doesn't uh, look like the brand you they normally don't look use. That they're gonna like they're gonna stick that well. They kind of seem shitty. Sorry, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, I. Kind of lost my train of thought here. I might have to okay. edit this part out. <laughs> Everyone loves a podcast when nothing is being said. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. 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 Right. Nothing. Well, we talked about how we were going to maybe do something on Friday. Yeah. I liked what you suggested. I did. You know what we could do? Like you said, a movies night? A movie yeah. night? Yeah. Right? Let's, let's. It should be cheesy girl movies or something. Yeah, we can do. Yeah, we could do like, let's do a movie that's got more than one episode. So it's like a like a theme. Oh, trilogy, trilogy. Is so, it called trilogy, or are you just seeing a trilogy of movies? Trilogies of movies. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's uh, what I thought. What Uh-oh, about she's Matrix? going for the gum. What about Matrix? We could do the Matrix. You're going to go for the because that you're definitely moving coming. that microphone away from you if you're chewing that bazooka, Joe. I love hearing the chewing of the gum. <laughs> <laughs> I hope everyone heard me pushing that microphone away. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! It's nice and loud. Good. I did that on purpose. I could, I could, I could chew some gum too. But she bought me a huge, huge thing of bazooka Joe. No, I didn't. I just bought you a ten pack. This to me is a huge thing. Oh, they're super cheap. So everybody ate all my double bubble really fast in the office. There's like none left. Oh, you were telling me oh that? Oh my god! People kept coming in, and they had the crybaby ones. They in must there have loved. That they they must... also make the ones that have the sour on them. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh! Everyone was into those. People were like, I gotta. I love bubblegum. Bubblegum is it's life. The best. It's happiness. It really it's is childlike happiness. happiness. It is. I, I remember when mm-hmm. I played softball, I would always bring like five packs of gum of like bubblelicious. And I'd bring the grape, the strawberry, or oh, oh, hubba bubba, mm-hmm. bubble yum, mm-hmm. things like that. My mother hates grape gum. It reminds her of medicine. I well, love it. Well, I think it's not, I think it probably tastes like what they used to have, sort of like the medicines. I don't think it tastes like medicine. I think it tastes like sweet well, maybe, grape. I don't know. Maybe we don't we don't know what their grape medicine tastes like. But she's like. not a fan of the grape flavor. But she doesn't like it in general. Yeah, so we don't. I mean, I get it all the time, but she doesn't. I don't have a problem with grape. Like she grape. loves the bazooka. Grape I bought her a pack. really real grapes. Yeah, I bought her a pack of the bazooka here as well. Yeah. I bought four packs at the market. They're like right at the wow. register. They're like a buck. Oh, what do we got? Look at my what fortune. Happened? Look at my fortune. It's like cut off. Ooh, that's not a good sign. No, it's it's the whole thing. It says it. Oh yeah, it's just that part of the letter. Yeah, yeah. no, that works. Isn't that a good one? Yes. It's manifest, good. manifest, manifest. Look at how look at how thin this this pen writes. Oh my, that's pretty. A really fine tip. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Those are cool. It sure is. I'm gonna manifest this for later. That'd be good. Go back to the future and use this code. Okay. All right. Do, uh, should we head out then? Maybe. To the future now? I give you a code. Is that going to get us there? Probably. I have the flux capacitor in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to have to convert that to a nuclear one so that we can put garbage in and run the thing. So our car is all like, you know, mm-hmm. organic and shit? Mm-hmm. All right. We won't need gas. That works. We'll be smarter than everyone else. We won't be paying $3.10 a gallon. Yeah. What am I going to do with the flux capacitor then? I don't know. Blow the original some, blow one. Blow something up. If we can't convert it into anything. Blow something up. Isn't that what it does? I guess. I don't think anybody knows what it does, really. I think it has something to do with opening the portal of time. Is that what it is? Maybe. The portal of time. That's like a novel title. Oh. A novel. Wrinkle, wrinkle in time. A novel by April and Sarah. It's a portal in time by April and Sarah. Can you imagine April actually doing the narrating of that book? I can. I can. I can hear it. I can imagine you and I narrating that book together 
like Thomas, something right off of Audible. Why don't we just totally act it out? Write this book, The Portal of Time. No last names by April and Sarah or Sarah and April, whatever. You can put April first because it it's A and then a. All right, that would be my reasoning because of just the whole alphabetical thing. But April and Sarah. Yep. And we should just, you know. We should just, you know what? I don't know. It just showed up on my, like, my type of things. To- oh, uh-huh, it's April and That's Sarah. That's so funny. Which one was that? Was that I don't know. It's just. This is the one of the I things. think that was the day we went to the beach. Like, we actually went to the beach. Yeah. No, it says Northampton. Oh. It was another day we went. Well, didn't. Oh. We, well, we went a, quite a few days. I guess, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, we need to go for one last seafood dinner. It jumps dinner. around along six different pictures. Yeah. But I'd like That's to so go. funny. For, I'd like to go for lobster one more time before that it gets would be nice. too cold. I think that'd be, I think that's a good plan. Lobster and steamers. Your cat is the funniest thing. He's pretty funny. Everybody loves my cat. Yeah, he's a sweetie pie. He is. He is a sweetie pie. So what were we just talking about? Oh, so the portal. We're writing the book, book, The Portal of Time. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think we should do that and make it an audible. What what kind of genre are you going with that? Is is that going to be science fiction? That could be, it could be anything, actually. Dystopian? I think what we Fantasy? What we should do is write our own, like we should just write it together, like the the chapter and see how the chapter comes out and that'll determine which direction we go. Hmm. Because okay. the portal of time really can have a lot of different directions. In fact, each chapter. Ooh, let's not give away the details. I know you're you're kind of doing that. Open almost open that Pandora's box there. That can yeah, of worms. What the heck? Stop. Yeah. So I did. I did. Okay, I did. Okay, I put the okay. brakes on. You saw that. You heard it. Yeah. Don't share all the information. People steal. They do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, because there's already no new ideas under the sun anyway. True. Most, pretty so much. I kind of have to. I love when people, and I'm not saying this, to, I'm not making fun of younger folks. Younger folks. Younger that's folks. How, that's how I know I'm old. Younger folks. The younger ones. The younger ones are causing all sorts of trouble. You know. These days. <laughs> they just Sorry, don't I don't have understand. an accent. Like... But you know how a lot of these these kids, these these, these, young, kids. these youngsters are doing these things and they, they, they think they're inventing something new and it's like. They are not. It's been done, redone, and redone before that. You know, yep. it's it's just your version of something that happened a long right. time. Fractured fairy tales. Dude, that's fairy tales been told a lot. Yep. Oh, you my just goodness. just keep it, changing it up every time. I like the different versions, though. Like, you know, Alice in They're Wonderland. Good. I like the, you know, the story Alice in Wonderland. I've always liked the multiple versions of the, the what people put they together. They always do something different. I really, I really like it. No, I, and I like fractured fairy tales and stuff. Like, uh, someone was talking about, my friend Melissa was talking about. Um, Hold on. I i don't think I've actually heard this term fractured fairy tales. And if I it's have, I. Like I've, a teacher way to talk about it, I guess. It would, okay, because I have no like idea. Like a what literature you, discussion. Oh. It's a type of genre, almost. So okay. there's, there's already fairy tales, but. There's a lot of people who write fa- fractured fairy tales where they break up the idea and put new ideas into it. I see. Okay. And it doesn't always pan out like the way that it did in, like, say, Grimm's. Okay. Because I, I don't think I ever heard that term before, so I was mm-hmm. curious. You could even probably call the Disney movies fractured fairy tales because they've changed the original versions. Right. Of the ones you read. Right. You know? but Or someone told one time around the fire <clears throat> back in the day. Back in the day. That's how they got them. They weren't written down until Once like upon way a time, later. In the land far, far away, there lived a princess, and her name was April. A- April. <laughs> April. That's what my dad used to say. Oh my god! He's like, Ap- he'd be like April. I'm like, yes, father. <laughs> April. No, actually, I'd be like, what? <laughs> Yeah, I was just going to say, it wasn't your father. <laughs> for, for sure. Everybody knows I would never respond like that. respond like that. I mean, what do you want? Or, yeah. Yeah, what do you want? April. That's cute. Oh, oh my He's God. funny. Yeah, he, he had some good ones. Well, one time we had, back in the day, when we had answering machines. Here we go, back in the day again. We had this answering machine, mm, and my father was putting the, the, the recorded message, right? Mm-hmm. So... And he, he was doing it. Oh my God. My mom and I were peeing our pants and she, he would go, you know, 
Hi, you've reached the so-and-so residence. We can't come to the phone right now. Mingya, did you call at the wrong time? <laughs> or at the wrong time? And I, every time he said it, because it was just the way he emphasized, Mingya, did you call at the wrong time? Every, we lost it every single time. It was great. Your family says Mingya way more than anyone else's family. That I know. Thank you. No, it's just you say it a lot. <laughs> I don't know. What are you talking about? Mingya, what do you mean? <laughs> Class. It just was one of your favorite words. <laughs> yeah. That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Although it did really tell where you were from on that one. Oh, time. God. Yeah. If you, if you say that or wicked. I know. People know right away. We were in California. No, but wicked could be everywhere in Mass, though. Well, it, but it, yeah, it's but Massachusetts. You say Mingia, people, they oh. pinpointed the actual city. Like, yes. <laughs> exactly. That? Yes, I do. That was that. freaking weird. That guy was freaking cool. He was so cool. Yeah, he was. He was very cool. I want to go. Where was it that he had his business there? I don't know. South America. Or was it Costa Rica? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Was it Puerto Rico? That's where one of his places was. Now. Yeah. But yeah, as soon as I said that, I couldn't believe it. He told me his wife was from the same area. I was like, no, are you kidding me right now? I you- think he would like where my dad bought his hotel. Oh, man. I still can't believe it. Have you heard from your dad? We won't get into detail on this, but. No, but. Um, he's, he wanted me to go, I told you he wanted me to stay with him I'm like down there. I'm like, um, I'm kind of having work cause it's like, I'm a teacher. And kind of a mom and stuff. We can't like just leave. <laughs> uh, the mom part's not a problem. It's the teacher part. <laughs> I don't care about my kids, but my I, kids have will be fine. I have my a job. My mom's around. Yeah. My kids are self-sufficient. They They're have very mic- self-sufficient. A, fr- a, fr- a kitchen full of food with a microwave. Okay. I know they have a sub freezer. You know, I could always go check it out for you if you want. I was thinking you were going to do that. Yeah, but I'm not going. You're by trying myself. to be that kind of friend, because I'm a, I'm a jerk. No, I would go with you. You'd go with me. Yeah, I, but You'd I was te- fun. I was teasing, saying I was going to go without you, mm-hmm. but I wouldn't do that. What I do need to do is show you the pictures, though. Are they nice of the hotel? Are they sketchy? No, it's nice. It's pretty decent for that area. Really? Mm-hmm. I was surprised for that area. Oh, that's making me want to go. I mean, it's Ecuador. Oh, yeah, I guess it's true. Yeah. But it's it's pretty. Like it's it's a well. Ooh. It's nice. He he got it's got nice furniture. It's uh, more upscale. Like oh I think they're gonna be able to do more to it. But oh my god, it's actually pretty good. It looks fancy. It's super cute too. The outside. What do you think? I like it. I, I know, right? And it's like really close to where the Galapagos. There's our room right there. Look at double double occupancy. I know. It's perfect. Yeah. It is. And you can take one of the cruises over to the Galapagos Islands from there. Oh, and you can man. see where Darwin came up with his theories of... We should do this for my Darwinism. 50th. <gasps> we could. This, we could go here for the 50th yes, trip. Yes, yes. <gasps> we could totally. We could. My dad would. Ooh. Yes. We just have to get tickets down there. Oh, my God. Look at that rooftop terrace. Is that a rooftop? I mean, yeah. Is I it, think so. Or a lower... Oops. Sorry. Well, you can tell... You have a text that came in. Well, you, you can see the front of it. You have big font. Are you blind? Oh, <laughs> yes, I am blind. What's your, what's your point? What's your point, huh? Actually, there is an I'm blind, that too. That is the top of the building. Yeah. No, I, I can't see without my glasses, so mm. I'm bad. Where is the top? I want you to see the front of the building because you'll be able to tell that it's that. Where did it go? It did you get time. me out of my where I was looking at the picture? I'll go back. All right. Here's the front of it. Where'd it go? Ooh. Here. Wow, dude. So that... You can kind of see that it was, I think it's on the rooftop there. That thing you were looking at. You have to go back quite a bit to do for that, by the way. Wow. I can't believe this. I seriously can't believe this. This is I a... know, right? I'm not jealous at all. Mm. Not even a little bit. Psh, not well, jealous. No, I'm not jealous because I don't want to live there. I'm not jealous either. Like him. I don't want to live there all the time. I would visit it, but I don't want to live there. You know. I'm pretty uh, impressed that he took a risk like that and... Like, jumped into that. You know, honestly, that's kind of the mindset for a lot of people these days. It is. and I, I mean, think, look what I'm doing. Yeah, good point. Yeah, I mean, think about things it. up a bit. I'm switching things up a lot of bit. Okay, I'm trying not to give away too much here. We're not giving away any detail. <laughs> I was being very vague. So was I. <laughs> I'm more vague than you were being. Oh, please. I'm sure people haven't put that together yet. I'm going to become a stripper, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that's why she's doing this intermittent fasting thing. To try and get down to the size of the rest of the... No, some people like the chubby the girls. Stripper. I didn't say they were all skinny. I know, but I'll tell you, though. One time, I was at a bachelorette party. When yeah. we, we went to the one up in... Um, 
up at the beach. Oh, that one. And the um, gentleman's club. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me the just tell you one. It was after they redid it and mm-hmm. it was actually super nice inside. Yeah. But the girls on the stage were not um they weren't aesthetically pleasing. Okay. And I'm not into girls, but I I have no you problem were like, hmm. but I have no problem saying I think a woman's hmm. beautiful if she's and if she's gorgeous. But these girls did not look like they didn't have what you wanted there. Well, they didn't. No, they didn't look healthy. Oh, yeah, but no, that like too. Too thin. That too. Like I'm, you know, like I said, I'm like not too thin. One like of them sick. looked like she was still on crack. One girl looked like she was pregnant. One girl looked like she literally woke up thirty seconds before she went <laughs> onto stage. <laughs> Probably from from a drinking binge. Probably, and all the crack. Maybe I know. I I'm know. actually. I really shouldn't say that because I'm I'm generalizing comments about people that dance, and I there are plenty of dancers well, out there that are you, like. You, the, yes, you were generalizing because yeah. you're thinking because they're dancers that the fact that they looked like they were on crack means they were on crack, right? And maybe I'm really, they just looked like it because they looked bad that day, right? They could be just having a maybe bad day. Maybe they were sick. You don't know, right? Well, if and you still have to go to work. Well, if you're sick, and you're you know you just really don't look that great. Mm-hmm. No one's going to want to. Go on stage if they're feeling crappy. They do though. I know. I mean, the same it's like all the rest of us that go to work, we don't want to go. I guess they but, need their. <laughs> but I'm sorry, when you look that bad, I don't mm. think you should be going to work. But Good again, point. but my thing is, I don't think they're all like that. No, there are okay. a lot of women. You know what? Honestly, a lot of women out there make a really good career out of it too. They make a shit ton of money. That's true, and they have the body for it. So why not? I would never, I would never, you know. I um, couldn't do it. I'm just, I don't have any rhythm or anything. And and a few other things I think I'm lacking. You know, like the nice body and the. I wouldn't parade my naked body around for everyone. I can't walk in heels. I can't walk in flip-flops. If that's your only reason, that's not really a good reason. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm, you know, just, I don't have to give everybody all the reasons. I just literally would not walk around. I would I, not dance in front of people naked. Probably the same reason why I wouldn't be a comedian. It's I would probably it. fall off the stage. I'm just so not, you know. I'm not coordinated either. I don't think I would make a very good dancer. I'd, I'd make a better dance, but I, would I make still a, don't want to dance naked. A better comedian. That's what I would be. Better at that. You, comedian? You think so? I think you'd be a good comedian. I know before we talked about me being a phone sex operator. You, you could do that too. I'd be really good at that. Mm-hmm. I think. Probably not. I think you'd start laughing. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. I'm like, I think you'd be okay for like the 30. first 10 minutes, 10 seconds, and you're like, oh, wait, what am I saying? Oh, this is funny. And then when they reply with something that's like way too into it or something. I'm like, I'm would, sorry, I don't do that. You laugh. No, I'd be like, I'm sorry, I'm just not into that. <laughs> and then you'd laugh. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, but No. <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry what did you just say to me <laughs> i i what kind of girl do you think i am one that doesn't normally say no I mean, i'll give you my private number later <laughs> i would get fired the first day you were you were taking you were you're taking bribes and special <laughs> rewards from all the clients nobody talks to me like that but my private number is five five five. Eight three seven five seven. I can't talk. Oh my goodness! Wow, that, that'd be funny. That'd yeah. Be- I, okay. So let's talk about other jobs that I would be really bad at. Okay, strippers number one. I might be up there. Phone sex operator is definitely up there. Maybe if anything in the... I think you would laugh too much. You can't do that one. Maybe I could be the sarcastic, funny sex girl on the phone. This, do people pay for that one? I'm not sure yet. I might have to explore those options. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, think about it. Has anybody really tapped into that side of being, you know, phones? Well, and you don't know. How many, do you remember there's phone sex operators that are probably out there in the world? And got, one of them's got to be like that. Probably. Yeah, one. It's so like, I could be the like second saying, one. It's like saying, you know, do you know how many planets there must be out there? There's got to be one with an alien on it. You think so? Because we're aliens on this planet. So. Well, other aliens, so. I know. We would be aliens. Yep. We could get in. That's Revelation. Not, we shouldn't go into that, down that road. No, we shouldn't. Should we watch The Matrix? 
Oh, right. We're back to that. See, I love how we just rear, you know, rear right back. That didn't come right. Well, it was actually about that kind of stuff. We were talking about. Well, we should discuss what we should do for dinner. Should we cook that night? Um, We could. I still have to. Or do you want to do take I have up? to drop off. No, I have to drop off uh, Kevin at karate at six. Well, a little bit before six. Do you have to go back and get him? No, my mom will do it. <laughs> That's why I did not have children. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing about that kid. I, I wonder if my other my other kids would ever listen to this. Probably not. Who cares if they do? All right, well. They're boys. they will get over it. So I'm looking at everyone's accounts because they're all attached to mine. I can see them all. And you my oldest the, you have the power. is telling me that he does it struggling and stuff. And then he asked me if he can take a break on paying me on something, right? And he's like, oh, I don't want to dip into my nest egg. So I go and I look at his account. He's got more well, money than all of you. No. Put oh, no. Oh, no. His nest egg? <laughs> Negative? Oh, he owes the bank. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it was $100. And you guys really he saw. Had, <laughs> he had, listen, listen, listen. You had the best sound effects, but I also had the visual. <laughs> the poor listeners did not see everything you did, every hand gesture you did with that. <laughs> And I do love the fact that you're emphasizing the gum chewing through this whole this whole process. <laughs> so I take it it's not good. <laughs> well, he had fifteen hundred dollars two weeks ago. And now he has a hundred. Holy crap! The hell did he spend? And he his didn't money buy on? anything of any importance. <laughs> he went to one concert, which he I think he had the tickets from already, and he did buy some merch there. And I'm sure he had to buy gas to get down there. So that part I get, but not that's not fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> the rest of it was all little tiny things that were stupid. I was like, "Oh, I can't believe this kid." Well, this is me being the jerk that I am. Don't we punish it? Um, well, not gonna. It's just money. Yeah, he earned it. But true, still, true. That's but, true. You know, I told, I'm so mean. I've told them. I told them a long time ago. You need to save half of everything you have right now because you should. You can. You don't have as much to pay for. Why not? Yeah. So, and he can't. He always swears he's going to do that, but he never does. And then the other one, the youngest one, the mouthy one. Um, aren't they? They're all mouthy. Oh, sweetie. there's one that's more mouthy than the others, and you know who it is. Hmm. <laughs> Think about this one. <laughs> Proceed. <laughs> <laughs> you know who it is. Come on. You, you witnessed that firsthand. Oh, that was fun. That was a good day. When we were down at the <laughs> Get good, in the cave. Good times. Oh, God. <laughs> so anyway, I look at his, and he also told me he was going to save half. Well, <laughs> he's got $100 or $150 in his account, and I know he's made way more than $300 this summer. Oh, geez. Louise. Probably like 800 or 900 which is not a lot. But So then the other one, the last one, definitely saved half, if not more. Well, that's good. Because he has $1,200 in his account. Good for him. I know, right? That's impressive. I was very impressed. He says to me today, he goes, there's an extra $200 in my account. I said, well, you must have got your last check or something. Well, you know, banks do that every month. They give you an extra $200. <laughs> he doesn't know anything. You should have lied he's to like, him. I, he goes, I got to go check my check stubs. I said, it doesn't say where the deposit comes from. He's oh, like, no. Did I'm you like, know yes, that it does? every six months you get like $300 thrown into your account? It's like a gift from the it's bank. It's a gift from the government because they give out free money. You know, every every everybody's bank accounts always increases by three hundred dollars every six months, and then actually, the- currently, if you have children, <laughs> and you fell, you were underneath the umbrella of of income during the uh, COVID bailouts. Uh-huh. You're you're getting a child tax credit right now okay. until the end of the year, and they deposit two hundred and fifty dollars in your account for every kid you have wow. once a month. Vacation money. I've been using it to pay my bills. <laughs> Sorry, folks. I feel bad because Clearly it's I'm not, not all my tax money that's gone to that. Mm-hmm. It's all the rest of you out there. My 10 viewers, 10 viewer, listeners, I'm so sorry. I, I don't took know. some of your tax money to when they gave it I out think and I was using it. I think we might be up to 11 listeners, maybe. Oh, my God. Really? Wait, yeah, do you think we got Chuck? We're huge. <laughs> it's because we got Chuck, too. And so he's person. 11. He's not for 11. He's 11. <laughs> Woo-hoo! <laughs> we Thank you, Chuck. To, we just have to date the people we want to get. 
Well, I'll never contribute at that point then. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm not going to listen to that bullshit. There is no need to yell. <laughs> hey, I just realized something. And I was looking at your headphones even before we started. And I meant to switch them back because those are mine. I'm looking, I'm like, why, why is she wearing the, the sign house or however you say it? I'm like, and I remember I was plugging these in. I'm like, why is this not the right connection? <laughs> You're wearing my headphones. It's all right. How's your tea water? Am I going to get COVID from these <laughs> headphones? Yeah, yeah. My ears are affected bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Today was a big COVID day at work. With it. Oh, yeah. How's your tea water? Tea water was very good. Like you could see through it. You put so much water. <laughs> I like it that way. <laughs> Why are you making fun of me? Because it's fun. Because yeah, I can. Today was a big COVID talk day at work. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. I am so sick of talking. They're making them. us put the tests back. The what? Oh. Oh, oh, arranging the Oh, that's the back. And the seating plan at the cafeteria is back. Yeah. In high school. Oh, geez. Louise. Yes, you sit in a specific seat. Everybody eats in their car. <laughs> Make it simple and everybody. Yeah, then you won't have to contact trace anyone because they won't be near each other. Of course, they don't have cars. Only well, the half one, the juniors. Yeah, that's true. And then some of them, and not even all the seniors. All right, well, anybody who has a car has to eat in their car. Yeah, that would be helpful. That would be very helpful. Yeah, it was a, there was a big discussion about that again. And telling kids to put their masks back on. And yeah. they're not allowed to have it down past their nose. And you yell that. And they're going to put those back on right now. That's what's going on at work. Right now. It's so much fun. <laughs> It sounds good like fun. times. It is good times. Yep. Mm-hmm. So. And today's home day. So two more days to go. <laughs> actually, technically one, because tomorrow is practically the weekend. Really. It's Thursday. You're Thursday. Right. You're right. I, I could get through this, right? I yeah. Can get, I can get through this. Yeah. Because tomorrow's like nothing. And then okay. it's pretty much the weekend because then you're just going to be. So. So I want to have some What are we going to do on the weekend then? I'm going to take like five or six of them. Yeah. Take them. Um, so what are we going to do on Friday? Then? I'm going to do We're four. Gonna make food. Oh, we're cooking now? Well, I don't know. We don't have to, but we could go somewhere, but I don't want to spend money. I'm trying to oh, be careful. Oh, I love <gasps> the texture oh, of is, these. Are they great? Oh, my God. It's addictive. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's like she had, like, it was like an orgasmic moment. She was, I need. <gasps> All right, let me tell you right now. It, it was real surprise, too. I haven't had I a right cigarette there. in eight years, and I might just have to have one right now. <laughs> <laughs> this gum is like cold mm-hmm. like the flavor it's, mm-hmm. it's like cooled off my mouth by 10 degrees it did it's juicy fruit it's not quite the same juicy fruit it's though. a little bit different it's a lot different well but i like it i can still get the flavor of that juicy fruit that from back in the day mm-hmm. it's there mm-hmm. the outside shells obviously different I love the texture. And it breaks a little bit. I would eat that in probably 20 minutes, that whole container. I can eat this whole container in 20 minutes. I've done it before. Yeah. But then my jaw locks up, so that's probably not a good idea. Well, can you not slam things on my laptop? <laughs> you always do that. I forget it's a laptop. Remember you started... You always have shit on it. Look, you just had chips This is it. a tiny dish that I was sharing but the I didn't with realize you. the laptop could keep forgetting that it's not. Do you remember the time you beat it with the paper towel roll? Oh, I beat it. Yeah, paper did. towel rolls are like, like the wimpiest things on the planet. No, no, this was an industrial one. No, this was, it was not. Yeah, it was because it, like, it was like it was the one it I was drew limp on, like a dick. And oh, girl, no, you know it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was the one I drew on. It was a. It was from the um, the shop towels that I get. It was a different type of cool. I you do like, not remember you, that. Oh my god, I, yeah, I did. It's funny because you were not like, remember that. Mm-hmm. You were teasing me because I drew stars on it. And then you're like, it's so hard. And you like banged my laptop. I'm like, um. Yeah, I have the clips to prove it. Okay, bring them out. Yeah. Well, we're kind of recording right now. I'll do it after. <laughs> I posted it on Instagram. I'm sure you did. Oh, I did. I do remember that. I do remember you being mad about it. Oh, I wasn't really mad. I knew. Oh, you know, your fake mad thing. My fake mad thing? Well, you're not do really Do I do mad. this regularly? Do I do this all the time? 
Yeah, it'd just be funny. Kind of like when you made that comment about like the April way, or you said <laughs> the, April the way. normal, the typical the tip, normal, the April, normal way. April way. Like I don't have the normal April. I'm gonna have to ask all of my friends what is that exactly? It's a lot of funniness. It's a lot of not taking anything seriously. <laughs> you know, you're right, but be- pretending to be serious. I'm gonna read a because test. that's. That it's just all dry humor that just continues to flow. <laughs> so on. Okay, so I'll tell you what I did, right? So Bridget, whoops, oh, my foot's like all tangled up in my wires. I went to, I hung out with Bridget. Now, if you never knew this before about Before I went me, to the cool movie. Yes. Mm-hmm. If you didn't know this about me before, I love keyboards and the sound that buttons make. I love that. You know. Oh, God. Okay. So, I'm setting the stage. Setting the table for what's about to be said. So we were in her office, and I really liked her keyboard. Mm-hmm. And um, <laughs> I liked the sound of it. You know, the. So I was pretending to be a travel agent. And I was like, and what's your first name? And I would do it for like a really long time. And then I'd be like, and you last. And I was pretending to chew gum. And I was doing like the, you know, like for a really long time. And I said, where are you going? You're going to Hawaii? Okay. And I would just keep typing for like. 30 seconds every time. And then I said, what's your birthday? Okay. okay yeah. And I would, <laughs> she's, she's pants in her pants. And so she, she, cause you said the funniness and that's what she said. I go, um, she goes, thank you so much for coming over the other day. I, I'm having some funny moments, flashbacks when you were pretend type, <laughs> when you're pretend typing, pretend typing nonsense. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because she had her password, and I kept typing, didn't realize that I typed, like, probably a hundred letters into her that password. locked her out, maybe? <laughs> no, no, she was able to fix it, but All right. then she says to me, today, this was today, she goes, damn it, April, since Saturday, every time I sit down at my office keyboard and try to focus and be productive, the April silly typing, pretending to be a travel agent, especially when you were working... On the number keyboard, because I can't get that shit done because I can't unsee the funniness of you. <laughs> I was like, oh. Uh-huh. She goes, and your random funniness just comes out without you trying hard. <laughs> nope. You never try. You're welcome. It's part of the normal April thing. Yeah, the normal April way. <laughs> or the typical April way. I think it was typical that you I said. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You definitely said that. Mm-hmm. Um it's fun. You know, it is fun. It never gets old making people laugh. No, it shouldn't. I always love telling, you know, stories and the things like that. The best part when you see people laugh and smile. Yep, yep. And then when you and I get going, forget it. Forget it. Well, your mom doesn't think it's that funny. She does. She thinks we're cute. <laughs> but she just wonders what the hell we actually talk about. She doesn't really get it. She's like, you youngins. <laughs> She's like, okay. While we're, go- while we're telling stories about back in the day. She's, she's like, like yes. Yeah. She's like, please hold my, my beer. My day was like. She's like, please hold my beer. <laughs> right. She's like, I got you beat. <laughs> Let's talk. You, th- yeah. you think you guys got Back it? in your day? Your day? <laughs> back in my day. Oh, man, I just broke fast. Why? What'd you do? <laughs> I chewed the gum after I ate. It's just gum. Don't have it again. Well, thanks. I appreciate it's that. It's only... Eight forty-five, six, seven. <laughs> it's like forty-six minutes past, but that's all you're gonna do. You're done. Well, since I have ten minutes left till nine o'clock. Oh my god, you're really gonna do that? Listen, I like to round up. <laughs> I always have. You're a rounder upper. I'm one of those. Oh my god. So we're gonna come up with something. You and I need to brainstorm. We're gonna come up with something for the hundredth episode. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm going to figure out what we're going to do um, for that. We're going to figure something out. Yeah, we really do. We really do. But I think I'm going to call it for tonight okay. so that you and I can just have some off-camera discussion mm-hmm. about some new projects that we might be working on. That I would think, be good. I think it would be fun. Anybody out there who has any stories or any ideas for the 100th episode, April at the lilypadpodcast.com or the lilypadpodcast at gmail.com. You sound a little. I'm what not what a happened I'm not there? Into your, I don't do your broadcast talk. I know. <laughs> now I have broadcast talk. <laughs> yes. You have a lot of categories that I fall under. Yeah, well, you're a broadcast. You mean the Lilypad Podcast at Gmail 
dot com. <laughs> Zid, that's it right there. She's got it. That's not me. I'm not even trying to be serious. <laughs> oh, how was in the commercial? Dot com. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, you guys have a great rest of your week. Uh, hope to hear from you, and we'll be seeing you on the Lily Pad. <laughs> <laughs>